guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another experiment involving combos. So as you know, I've done a few videos in the past involving Posca pens and Ahuhu brush markers and Prismacolor markers where I basically take a color and we see how many pages can it fill or just a way to check out how much ink is inside those markers. So we are looking at this color in particular. I have not used this color. It is color 476. Well, I thought the color name was on here, but that's okay. It is basically a very beautiful, bright, vibrant blue and I've only used it to do a color swatching and that's pretty much it. So let's gather these all up. So the paper I'm using is this multimedia pad paper. It is though nine by 12. So I went ahead and I pulled out some pages and I cut it down to eight and a half by 11 because I feel like that's the standard size for most people. So let's go ahead and get started. So as always, I'll be starting with my border. Just makes it easier for me. Beautiful blue border. I really love this color. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And we're just gonna take this one line at a time. And this is generally really pleasing to look at. And the cool thing is, is blue is a very calming color. And I tend to find this sort of activity is calming too. So after a while, I really just relax. <laughs> All right, we are coming to the end of page one. That's page one. And so the nib is super, super juicy. And I'm interested in seeing how that changes as we keep going. So let's bring out the next page. And so the Tombow set that I have is actually the 96 count, which is almost all the colors. It used to be all the colors back when I bought them, but since then they've come out with, I think like another two pack. So I definitely want to get my hands on those. And so I use my Tombows mostly to fill in my bullet journal. I used to share my bullet journals on here, but lately I haven't been. And I also use them for hand lettering, but I usually use them to color. And every time I mention that, a lot of people in the Tombow community have mini heart attacks <laughs> for whatever reason. And they're definitely not the easiest to color with. A lot of questions that I get are, you know, how do you color with water-based markers and not have them street? And I use watercolor paper. I find that that's the easiest way. The lighter colors tend to not streak as bad because of being such light colors. And then there are also techniques you can use. Since they're water-based, you can use them kind of like watercolors. And so Tombow even has a little blend blending palette that you can use where you just place down the color. And since it's plastic, it's easy to gather that color and either blend it with another or just pick it up with your watercolor brush and then paint with it like as if it were watercolor. All right, end of page two. All right, page one, page two. They both look amazing and they're so pretty and I'm not feeling any dryness. So that's really cool. I'm excited to see how well this performs and how many pages we can reach. Starting page three with my border. Watercoloring with these markers. I got a few comments on my Tombow video that I uploaded a few months ago, I wanna say. And a lot of people saw me use that watercoloring technique and they were kind of confused. A lot of them felt it was kind of gimmicky, which I can kind of agree with. And at that time I was really focused on, you know, how can I color with these without any streaking? I was really, really focused on that. And I think I was focused on that because that seemed to be the most general complaint for people when it came to coloring with these and even hand lettering to be honest like when you're doing a letter where the lines overlap on each other you still get that sort of like streak in there and so a part of me was just really focused on how I could avoid that but honestly I've just learned to accept that all right so this pretty much completes page three and it's still going beautifully. It does feel a little bit drier, but 
Overall, it's still quite vibrant and vivid and does not look any different between page one, two, three. I'm surprised and I'm curious to see how long it can go. Starting page four. I also really feel like if you're worried about streaking, then perhaps water-based markers aren't exactly what you're looking for then. And I would suggest looking into alcohol markers since the base is alcohol, you won't get that sort of streaking that you get with water-based markers. At the same time, while you don't get the streaking, you get the ridiculous bleed through. All right, done with page, huh, what page is this? Four? Yes, four, done with page four. Holy cow, I've never done one of these where still by page four, it's this juicy. <laughs> Now I'm just having fun with that word. Anyways, so I'm really surprised guys, like literally no difference. Look at these pages. Oh my gosh. And this is mixed media paper. Like, I don't even know. I, I expected it to suck up the ink faster. So I'm very pleasantly surprised at how well it's maintained. So this is page Bav. Kudos to Tombow, because there's honestly nothing better than a marker that can go this long. You know, you really feel like you get your money's worth because Tombows aren't cheap. And like, I bought my 96 count on Amazon and it was about, I wanna say 100, 125? And that's definitely not something I would consider cheap, but it's definitely worth it. All right, guys, we've reached the end of page five. And yeah, I mean, we're still going strong. I mean, I don't even know why I'm doing comparisons because it's literally just completely the same. Another page of beautiful blue ink. So this is page six. I get a lot of people who ask me what I do with these pages when I finish this experiment. And I think a lot of you guys are just afraid that I throw them away. And I definitely don't. Like right now I haven't used them just yet, but I do have ideas. I mean, there's so much that you can do with these. And like one of the things I wanna do is cut these down into like small rectangles or squares and like do little thank you cards for whenever I need them. Another idea I have is using it as 3D art and then just pasting other types of things like on top of it. So for those who are constantly worried about me just throwing this away, definitely don't be worried. Like I will use this. All right, page six is complete. Let's continue. This is page seven. Definitely feeling drier. It's not looking drier though. This marker is doing great. Just 10, 10 would recommend. Okay, I definitely feel like we're getting some sort of brushy streakiness right in this area more than before. The other thing is, is my nib, usually one of the telltale signs that the ink, I wouldn't say almost out, but definitely a lot less, is the nib really tends to grab at the paper. We're definitely getting a little ever so slightly lighter in this area. But that was page seven. I am so impressed. Test. All right, page eight, here we go. And these markers are dual tip for those wondering why I probably haven't used the other side. I just haven't because the nib is a bullet nib and it's super, super small. So I feel like it'd just be a waste of time if I went to that side. I've already tried it with the Prismacolor and it just wasn't a good idea. I was barely covering any ground, y'all. This is the furthest I've gotten with a marker before. Like my Hoo Hoo brush marker filled seven and a half pages, which is pretty much to here. And this Tombow marker is blowing it out of the water. I'm gonna fill this page and I'm gonna have to cut more paper. <laughs> like it looks like I'm gapping too, but I'm, I'm not. The brush nib is going over that. It's just not filling it because the ink isn't really reaching the very, very tip anymore. So I'm trying to keep the lines as as close as possible, just to keep it accurate. That's page eight, so impressed. So this one I feel like definitely needs a comparison because you can definitely see how dry it's becoming on this last page. So this is page nine. All right, just from doing the border, I'm gonna be honest here. I don't think it's going to fill up the entire page, but who knows? I've been wrong before. So 
I could be wrong again. I'm also pressing pretty hard because the ink is now getting more difficult to come out. So if the nib starts getting destroyed, it's because of the pressure that I'm putting on it. I'm gonna check out the other side just to see. Yeah, this is this is gonna take 10 years if I did this side. Plus it is also kind of dry on this side too. So let's go back to the other side. I'm still impressed. Like, holy cow. We are reaching the end of this page and I'm trying to fill in as much gap as possible without going over the same sort of line. This is page 10, y'all. Page friggin' 10. I don't know. I, I keep thinking this is the end, but geez. Okay, that was a little difficult to get those borders in, so wow. But yeah, it's hard to get the color out, but holy guacamole, I'm just amazed. And like, there's nothing better than a fairly expensive product truly showing that they're worth it. I don't know, it's just nice to know. Only because I really do think that there are some art products on the market that I do feel are a scam. <laughs> but it just feels like Tombow is just not one of those. Tombow is really amazing. And this is not a sponsored video, just in case anybody was gonna be like thinking that. <laughs> but I, I really just feel like this just goes to show why Tombows are so popular. Not because they fill 10 pages, but, <laughs> but they're just a good product, just in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> oh, my hand's hurting. I only do this because this is pretty much this is the only way to sort of get any remaining ink out. I will say holding it this stiff helps make super straight uniform lines. I really think we're finally hitting the end. Whew, I'm calling it. There you have it guys. I mean, I don't think, I, I really couldn't do another page. I mean, I probably could if I struggled with it. Yeah, I mean, if I really go at it, but my like entire hand is throbbing at the moment. Calling it 10 pages. Wow, I'd say I'm impressed, but I've honestly said that a thousand times by now. <laughs> Guys, 10 pages, what the heck? Do I even need to show that? I don't even know. Page one, two, can I show 10 pages? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Just gonna put it right here in the middle, boom. 10 pages of which, of which a good eight pages worth are super vibrant and juicy. Literally just saying that word again, just annoy y'all. <laughs> and amazing. I'm, gosh, like, wow. Anyways, I really hope this helped you guys out. I really hoped you guys learned something as always with these things. Um, I personally really enjoy Tombow. I think they're great and they have yet to prove otherwise to me. So yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.